Hi, I'm Chris Lampton. This backyard has a lot of good bones to it, but there's not a lot going on back here. Today, gardener Gina Iliopoulos and I, we're gonna change all that. When I saw this backyard for the first time, it was very square. Nature is not straight lines. Nature's got a nice curve to it. We wanted to add color. Everything was very monochromatic. Lots of beiges and very flat. And also, it was very disjointed. Going from the sliding glass door to the porch, there was no way to get there. By putting in a curved patio, it's gonna give us great places to put in plants in the backyard. You pick a curve that works for your space and you've created a new shape in the garden. Now that we have these great curved planting beds in, we need to make sure that the soil will sustain the plants we're gonna put in there. We wanna make sure that the soil holds the right amount of water and has plant food already mixed in because that's gonna promote the growth that your plant needs. Yeah, make sure you break up those roots so that way it'll really take to the soil well. In this cutting garden, we chose a mixture of annuals and perennials. The perennials will come back year after year. The annuals, those are only good for a year, but let's say your taste changed next year, you can choose a different color flower to put in the cutting garden. Here you go. Perfect. From your cutting garden, you're taking your garden and you're bringing it into your life. They'll be able to come out here every day and cut a new bouquet of flowers. This backyard lacked continuity. It was very disjointed. So to connect these two spaces, we're using plants in the living wall to create one big picture. This vertical garden with the palette, it's like growing art in the middle of your yard. That's a really nice way to put it. You want to use potting mix because this is just vertical potting bed. Just like a container. First step, have the right soil. Again, it's going to give you the nutrients that these plants need. Everything is tied together so much better now. New plants are under stress, so they need the right amount of food and water. So make sure you feed them regularly. This is going to really help the plants grow. I'm really excited to see how this is going to look in a few weeks. You're not going to even recognize the place. Stay tuned and see the results. Presented by miracle Grow. To watch more of this series, visit Gardeneers.com.